We're here at Skyblade Precision Engineering in Derbyshire. Now, they are a fairly new business that are investing, but not just investing in a machine tool, but they're investing in an automated production cell to keep them ahead of their competition. Paul, we've got two other successful engineering companies. Now, this is your third. Yeah. You, you're kind of starting this all from scratch now. So you've invested in a brother. Yeah. Video with an automation cell on the side. Yeah. Who have you gone to this setup? Well, um, the business model of sort of hand loading blocks uh, by hand into three axis machines is failing fast in the UK. I mean, wages are going up and it, it's not productive enough uh, to be competitive uh, globally. We, we, we work for multinational companies that can place work anywhere in the world. We've got to offer something special to them. We've got to offer something that's much better than just a hand loading box by hand. That's not going to stand up anymore. And so why have you gone for then, or the brother as a brand? Because you've got another one. Yeah, we, yeah. This one has the automation. We've got a lot of brothers. We like brothers. Um, there's multiple reasons really why, why we buy brothers. But uh, I think uh, the speed, they're well known to be one of the fastest machines on the market. Yeah, the, the cycle times are um, unbelievable really. Uh, tool changes very fast and the reliability. If you think about it, if you, if you buy a, a five axis production machine, it's running five, 6,000 hours a year probably, maybe more. That's five to six times more than a conventional machine would be running. So the, the reliability of the spindle and components has got to be really up there and the Japanese really know how to do it. So, so with that, who are you pitching to then? It's all sorts of companies. It's uh, hydraulic components, a, pneumatic components, motor sport component. It can be in everything, even high quality bath taps. Yeah. There's very, very complex machining in, in those components, actually. And what size is a batch is because you've got automation on. Yeah. Where, where should we be considering? The sweet spot for us is actually between a hundred and a thousand. It's strangely low. You'd think it'd be high volume, but that's quite, and that opens up so many different industries. If you can say, right, we, we only need 100 off or 200 off, even if they only want 20 a month, we can stock it and make a couple of hundred for a year. You know, we'll, we'll do that. Well, let's come back to the machine. Tell me about the whole process. Let's go around the side here. Where does it begin? And how does all of the automation work here then? Um, well, we've turned off the machine. Um, so you can see what's happening here is the, um, the two conveyor belts, uh, the blocks are loaded on the higher one. Uh, and they come in on the conveyor belt. And then there's a vision system up above, uh, and that basically uh, scans the component uh, and it tells the robot arm exactly where to pick the component, the block up. Um, and then when it's, and while it's put the next one in the machine, it takes the other one out and puts it back on the lower conveyor belt and they feed out um, gradually over a period of hours or however long it takes. It's the perfect for an overnight run for it. Yeah, I mean, this. I think this job will run 36 hours unmanned, just on, a, I've really got three metre conveyor, I think. Um, so that's a long time. It's a 40 minute side the time. So yeah, oh. uh, you can, it's great for weekend runs, you know, things like that overnight. Full, full production, we can run it seven days a week uh, without a lot of money. It takes about half a man. I, I, I re reckon half a man. So while the man is maintaining this, he can work another machine. And how is it all controlled? Uh, well, this is the controller for the automation. Um, so you've got um, a panel here for the, uh, directly to, to program the six axis arm. Uh, but this panel is where it we use to program it from. And, and this uh, has a really, really nice piece of software on it that makes it so easy to program. So instead of, programming a six axis arm, which is a complicated thing. There's a little bit of software on here called Chip Light. And, and, and this piece of software makes it so easy. All you do is you type in your three uh, sizes for your block, X, Y, and Z, yeah. height, width, and length. And, and that's it. I think with, so within a few minutes, you can change block size. And that was a key thing for us that we could change the block size over very quickly because ultimately we're a subcontract engineering company. We don't know what's coming in the door. We need to be able to change the block size to anything. And you're doing, um, you know, a thousand, a uh, hundred off. That's yeah, yeah. not a rule. Yeah. Got a we want to be able to take that number down to 50 off. You know, we want to be, so as we get good at it quicker, I think we'll be taking lower volume on 
on, on this machine, yeah, because and it that software is a key part of it. It, it really wouldn't work without that software, not for a subby. Yeah. Because, I mean, we're a subcontract engineer and we need to make lower volume stuff. We're not making production stuff. Yeah. You know, there's some production, but not it's not all that. Let's look at the machine now. Right, you can choose any machine. Ultimately, you yeah. know, you've got another couple of companies. Yeah. So why Brother and why the Speedio? I think that this cell and, and this machine provides probably the best value for money of any machine tool on the market. Uh, it's the speed of it, the reliability of it, um, the versatility of it. Uh, to be honest, they're, I think they outstrip anything that anyone else has to offer. And for the price point, it's extremely competitive. Um, I mean, there's lots of other benefits as well, such as low electricity cost and things like that. Because it's a quill machine, you know, you're not burning a lot of energy moving a very heavy headstock up and down. Do you really notice that difference? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, our electricity bill last year went through the roof. I think it was like crazy. Uh, but this year, well, I, I think as we're trying to get rid of these bigger, heavy machines, especially if machine in aluminium, you don't really need it. What you need is spindle speed. I think this has got 16,000 on the spindle, so it's pretty, very quick. It's quick enough for aluminium. Um, you can do form machining on it. It's, it's fast enough for that without using balanced tools. So, Paul, as a subcontractor, why is this machine, this whole setup, so perfect for your business then? Uh, when you're a subcontractor, you don't know what's going in the door. You need a machine that's versatile and do any type of component uh, cost effectively. So this, this machine will make us extremely competitive on a huge wide range of components.